Hi all, welcome back to my channel, Danielle here, and you guys, I am back in Los Angeles after spending the entire weekend in Visalia. For those of you guys who don't know, it is the Central Valley, and before I lived in LA, I was in Davis. Before Davis, I was in Visalia. So you guys, I pretty much lived there for 12 years, and for those of you guys who know the area, there is absolutely nothing out there. Like, literally, it's such a little boring little town, but, you know, I gotta give it kudos because I consider it one of my hometowns. So that is pretty much where I began thrifting. When I was 18 years old, I was on my own. I was broke, but I still wanted to look cute. So thrifting was kind of the only option for me, really. And so I hit up all the thrift stores that I used to go to. And you guys, these prices are freaking ridiculous. I got leather jackets, leather coats for a dollar each, you guys. Literally, that just blows my mind. I got shoes. Shoes that would cost anywhere between like eight to $12 at a Goodwill here in Los Angeles for one freaking dollar. Oh my gosh, I just, I cannot wrap my head around the idea that I literally got the stuff for a dollar each. So I'm like super excited and stoked to show you guys all these pieces. So let's get straight into this haul. Guys, I'm just gonna set you down here. But you guys, I'm in my cell. I am in the Central Valley. This is where I grew up. I lived here for about 12 years and we are gonna go thrift shopping. We know a few places I'm here with Arthur that we love to go to and where we used to shop at. So we're gonna hit up a few places. So this is stop number one. Let's go. So you guys, I was taking a look at the shoes and just trying to see what I was into and then I saw this sign. Shoes are only one freaking dollar. Y'all, I am leaving with a crap ton of shoes today. This is the lingerie section. It's a little sad, a little sad. Trying to debate whether we should take the sweater. So this is what it looks like. Has more of an oversized fit. Yeah, I like it though. I like it. I think it's really cute. Thanks. Yes, we're gonna take it, y'all. I think I'm good. All right. Let's check out. Y'all, right down the street was a Salvation Army. So we are here at the family store, gonna see what they have. Last time we came here, we actually found a really nice printer. Hopefully we run into some goodies. Let's go in. You guys, they're just asking me to take stuff. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Let's get looking. Yeah, I don't know if I like these. Are these like grannyish? Or they cute? They could be cute. Imagine some whitewash jeans. Mm, they kind of look like something you would wear to a wedding. No, I think I'm gonna leave them. Those will stay. Ooh, these caught my eye. Ooh, now these are a look. And an eight and a half. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take them. So cute. These I'm taking. You guys, that does it for location number two. I had really bad luck. I didn't get any tops, but y'all, we walked out with some cute shoes. So and more leather. And more leather. And you guys, I swear, all these stores are just asking us to take crap because they had 50% off the entire store, y'all. I can't even do it. I can't, like, I'm so overwhelmed by all these sales. It's ridiculous. We are back in my apartment. I have a total of 12, 13 pieces. Ugh, again, I did not have the greatest luck with tops. I literally walked out 
with only one freaking top. You guys, I think it's gonna be my mission now to thrift more tops because I was trying to style a few outfits last night and I was struggling so freaking hard. But I did walk away with some really cute shoes and some really awesome freaking jackets. So let's start off with the shoes. I have everything right here. I really love these little mules. These are a bit more on the damaged side though because you can see that the sole's kind of coming off and lifting from the actual shoe. But you guys, I couldn't walk away from this. We've got a square toe, we've got a strappy detail here, and then just a stacked heel, which I think is super cute. Yes, it's minimalistic, but imagine all the fits that you can pair this with. The next shoe is another black shoe. It's strappy again. It is a brand Via Spiga. So these are made in Italy, real leather construction here. Look at the silver hardware. Tell me that isn't freaking cute. We've got another open toe, a square toe as well. Oh my gosh, and we just got this little black block heel here. We got the ankle buckle, but you guys look at this. Tell me this isn't cute with some like high, maybe like calf black socks with a fit. Oh my gosh, I would absolutely love this. The next shoe I got for only a freaking dollar are these white ones here. So I wasn't sure whether these gave me like <sighs> granny vibes or like a wedding in the 90s type vibe, but look at these you guys. It has a silver buckle right at the very front here. We've got a square toe, open toe, it's got the sling back, a block heel, and it's white, so I thought it was really sophisticated and clean. The next shoes I got were not a dollar. I actually spent $10 on these, and they are these leather, like, cowboy-type mule. You guys, it's leather construction, a pointed toe. It has this embellished contrast trim here where you insert your foot, and it just has this really cool stacked heel, but you guys, tell me this isn't freaking cool. Like, if you were to find this shoe at a Goodwill here in Los Angeles, I swear it might be up to, like, 15, 20 bucks. I only got it for $10, which is, you know, a little pricey for me, but then I was thinking, how much would LA sell it for, you know? And you guys, off to the last pair of shoes, which are my absolute favorite, and you guys will know why the minute I show them to you guys. You guys, look at this mule, oh my gosh. This is a size six and a half. You guys, I am a size eight, so this does not fit at all, but I really wish it did. Okay, let's just get into the shoe. Obviously, it is this really obnoxious bubblegum pink that I, I'm i obsessed with. We've got an open toe, square toe. It's a mule, and we've got a little block heel here. So you guys, let's finally get into some clothes. So I literally only walked away with one top, and it is this spaghetti tank from the Disney store, actually. It's brand new, still has tags on it, and I thought it was really cute. I do see a lot of like Disney-related uh, t-shirts on Depop, and honestly, I don't really understand the craze with this whole like Disney theme and aesthetic. I've been to Disneyland once in my adult life, and it was fun, but I went on a rainy day, so literally my butt was wet all day long. I was wearing an ugly-ass poncho that they sold for like, what was it, like $20? I spent like a piece of plastic that was literally a trash bag on me that I paid for like 20 bucks, it was ridiculous. And then I waited in line for cars for about four to five hours. It was a fun ride, don't get me wrong, but Jesus Christ, I'm never doing that ever again. But I thought this little tank was cute and it is this one right here, you guys. It's a bit more on the minimalistic side, but look at these straps. I thought they were really cute. They just say Mickey all over them. And then we just have a very classic embroidered front with the Mickey ears, a star and a moon. I walked away with two pants, you guys, and these are the two pants that I've got. And they are these velvet pants here, which I thought were pretty cool, obviously because of this belted waist. And it's this velvet construction. It looks like someone hemmed it, so I can easily just unhem it here. But it looks more of a straight leg. Not much to these. These are more of a darker wash because of the navy color. These next pants, you guys, ooh, I absolutely love. They've got color, they've got an awesome print, and they are these orange pants right here. Like I've mentioned in my previous videos, orange has been my color of 2020. So when I saw these, I was like, ooh, yes, totally something different. And they are high-waisted. You guys, look at this print. I don't even know what it's called. It kind of looks like marble, like what you would see in a swimming pool, like that reflection that you guys kind of visualize. It is a cropped leg, it's more of a capri, so definitely gives me more like vintage retro mom vibes. Time to move on to the rest of my haul, which are literally all jackets. Okay, so the first piece I wanna show you, oh my gosh, I absolutely love. This is definitely out of my own style and comfort zone because I wanna say it's more on the vintage side. I'm thinking maybe it was some sort of 
two three piece set but you guys it is this jacket right here and it has such such balloon sleeves you guys look at these button cuffs oh my gosh do i see that i love these vintage buttons i just think they look super freaking cute and the silhouette of this just billows out and it's just so free-forming and flowy and absolutely love that this next jacket i think is really super cool and mainly because of the texture it is really soft and would i consider this fur i wouldn't consider this fur but maybe like a fleece construction but you guys look at this print i just think it's super cool kind of gives like zebra but like not really and it's just this gray and black colorway and it is more of a longer length coat which i thought was super cool Ooh, my favorite part you guys we are getting into the leather so this jacket here is actually faux leather i mainly got it because of this color i've never thrifted a leather jacket in this light wash before so definitely had to have this and this one again is not real leather this is faux and you guys look at these pockets they have this chain detail right here it's got a waist tie it's got a notch collar which i thought was super cool this one doesn't fit me sadly it's a size i want to say it doesn't have a, um, a tag a size tag it looks like it was cut off but it does fit me more like a medium or a large this next one y'all it is a bold one it is a bold red leather jacket and this is a size 22 but you guys oh whether you fit this size or whether you want an oversized fit this jacket is just good for it y'all look at this bold red leather and again it's just a notch collar definitely more of a vintage style to it it's got seam detailing we've got front welt pockets oh love love this and i actually thrifted something similar to this in buffalo exchange that is my size so i am more than happy to post this on my depop so one of y'all can snag it this is the last jacket that i have you guys it is this hooded leather jacket oh hold on it's kind of a hefty one but it's got a button front closure and what is my favorite feature about this jacket is the fact that it has a drawstring waist just because i do like oversized jackets and oversized silhouettes but one thing i don't like to lose is my shape or my figure but you guys it does have long sleeves i like the little pleat detailing on the cuff here which i think gives it more of a vintage look to it but you guys that pretty much does it for the end of my thrift haul from the valley if you like any of the pieces give this video a big thumbs up also if you're not part of the egg family already hit that subscribe button down below i was really stoked to show you all these leather pieces that i found for a freaking dollar there i go saying it again i know but if you guys are anywhere in the valley or if you guys are also from Visalia or my Sally area I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below also don't forget that I have an Instagram so if you want to follow me go ahead and hit that there I want to keep in mind I have not forgotten about the dolls kill giveaway I didn't realize we we're gonna have that many entries so I will be posting the winners in the end of Saturday's video so keep an eye on that but you guys as always I post videos twice a week I'll see you guys in the next one bye